Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to edit the navigation bar on your website. And that would be the primary navigation bar going across the top of your site. I'm going to show you how to adjust the primary tabs going across, but also how to edit the drop down or child pages. In the command center over in the left navigation, you want to click on site content and then click on edit navigation. That's going to bring up a list here of tabs. And each tab is a page on my navigation bar. So it's listing out all the primary tabs, but also the drop down or child pages. There is a hide all children button. So now I'm just looking at the primary tabs going across. The top one on the list would be the far left going across on the website, the bottom one would be the far right and you can do a drag and drop to change the order. When you make changes of course you want to save. Once you're done saving your changes you want to go on the website drop down to publish your website changes. If you do not want a page in your navigation bar off to the far right you just have to hit the X to remove it. It doesn't actually delete the page it's just going to remove it from the navigation bar. If you want to edit one, you can click on the Edit button, and it'll drop down. And if you want to change the title or link name for that navigation tab, you would click into the Link Name field, type in what you want it to be. Now I'm going to click on that edit button for in stock units now to collapse that tab. If you want to add a new page to the main navigation bar you would click on the new navigation link button. Then on the drop down you can add three different types of items to the navigation bar. First I'm going to go with a site page. So that would be a page that exists within the actual website already. And I have a videos page created that I want to add to my navigation bar. So I'm going to click into the site page field, start typing in the title of the page. If it exists in the system, it will show up on the drop down palette. And by selecting it, it'll populate the link name, which you, of course, can change. So I'm going to collapse on that videos tab, save my changes, and then change the order. Now I want to add a page as a drop down or child page. So I'm going to click on the add child button for company info. I'm going to choose another site page and I'm going to add my events page. And of course we can change the order of the drop down or child pages too. Now I'm going to add a different type of item to the navigation bar. And what I want to do is add a brand of product on my website. And I'm going to use the add child option for shopping. And instead of going with site page, I'm going to choose search result. And I want it to be Dunlop Tires. So as I start typing in my brand and product category, it should show up on our drop-down palette here. And then once you select it on the drop-down, it'll populate the information. So I'm going to collapse on that, save. I'm going to publish this through here once it's done saving. So now we've got videos in the main navigation bar, events shown up under company info. If I hover over shopping, I can click on Dunlop Tires, and it's going to go to that search results page within the website. So you could do that for power sports brands like Alpine Stars, Dunlop, or on automotive 
sites, you may be using Bridgestone or Firestone. Or on medical sites, maybe you want to promote Pride or ResMed products, or even just product categories like passenger car tires, um, exhaust, walking aids. Another item you can add to your navigation bar would be a custom URL. So I'm going to add this as a child page again to company info. I'm going to toggle from site page to custom URL and I'm going to link to my YouTube training videos. So I'm going to pull up that website, copy the address out of the address bar. I'm going to paste that into the custom URL field. In the link name field, I'm going to type in my title. Going to save that. Publish. So now under company info, I have my training videos. And it pulled up in the same window. Well, I actually want that to pull up in another tab or window. So I'm going to go back and edit my training video section. And I'm going to change the link target from open inside site, which it defaults to, to open new page. So I'm going to save and publish that once more. Now when I click on training videos, I mean, you probably can't see my browser tabs now, but it's popping up in its own new window this time and not pulling them away from my site. So those are the basic ins and outs of editing your navigation bar. Thank you for your time.